Bridge Marketing and FB Chat, Part 1. Welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss the connecting step from the diagram I've shown you in the first video. Now we will connect to our target market, audience, or prospects by using the technique known as bridge marketing. Bridge marketing is a very simple technique. It's all about customizing your offer for your target market. In other words, you and your offers are on the other side and your prospects are on the other. The bridge is an effective way to convey your message to the target market. In other words, the more effective your pitch is, the more successful you will be in marketing activities. Now, this is a very simple picture of a bridge where two people are standing on both sides. You can see that one person has a plank and he's trying to complete the bridge with it so that the connection can be complete and be more effective. It's similar when it comes to physical marketing or any marketing for that matter. The more effective is your bridge, the more effective you can convey your message to the target market, the more fruitful your marketing efforts will be. I hope it makes sense to you. If not, it'll make sense in the next portion because I will show you some case studies. Now, in case study number one, say you are approaching a stay-at-home mom about some make money online system. Now, you can take two different approaches. If you remember, your target prospect is a stay-at-home mom, so the chance is higher that she doesn't have the technical knowledge or any kind of broad experience about making money online. A simple example is you are making a simple check to that stay-at-home mom and you've asked her how to rank your blog almost instantly, generating you tons of traffic targeted leads and sales on complete autopilot. You will teach them all the things. Now, what do you think? What is going to be the outcome? Does it going to have any sense to her? So this is approach number one. On the other hand, here is approach number two. We have the same prospect, but we approached her in a different manner. You ask the lady, discover how a complete tech challenged a stay-at-home mom of two kids makes some money online spending less than 30 minutes every day. So what do you think? What is going to be the more effective pitch? In the first case, we have some technical words, which probably is not going to make any sense to the stay-at-home mom, because she doesn't have any idea about traffic or blogs. It'll just sound alien to her. On the other hand, if you talk to her about how a complete tech-challenged stay-at-home mom of two kids, this is going to connect to her at once. She probably thinks that, I have one kid, and someone with two kids is making money online. Then, she reads this particular portion that says, spending less than 30 minutes every day, which even a stay-at-home mom can spin after all the household chores have been done. What have we done here? We've completed a bridge. We have customized our message to convey it directly to our target market by creating this particular bridge. Let's take another example, which is our case number two. Now, say for example, you are approaching a network marketer. The first approach is that my company had the best product and comp plan in the entire industry, versus I help network marketers capture more leads and recruit more reps for their business by using simple Facebook techniques. In the full scale, we have given the network marketer the best image which thousands of others are also claiming all the time. All of them are saying that they have the best product and best comp plan, blah, blah, blah. But on the other hand, if they have taken a bridge approach where they will be helping the person to generate more leads and recruit more reps for his business, who doesn't want to get more people for their business or to get more of what he wants? And it uses simple Facebook techniques. So again, you are creating a bridge, directing them to their own niche or industry. It can immediately connect with the person. So, with these two case studies, I'm trying to make you understand how effectively you can create a bridge to convey the message, and more importantly, to connect to your target market. After connecting with people, you can always take an AEIOU approach. On the first portion, we gave some examples by case study by creating a customized bridge marketing messages to create the bridge. But, along with the bridge marketing tips, you can always use the AEIOU approach. 
once you have connected with the person. Always first use A, which is ask them. Ask them about their biz op and the type of business they are in. Now, the moment you start the conversation asking about his or her business, obviously the person will feel much more connected with you. Everybody wants to talk about their business because that's what interests them. They are your targeted prospects. And then E is for explore. You ask more about the business, their products, the comp plan, and even their success stories. When you do this, they'll feel that you are pinned to listen to their business opportunity, which is also about themselves. I is feel and show that you are interested. You can do this by asking more questions that are just connected or about their business. Then O means offer or opportunity. Now, whenever the right time appears, you've put your bait and your hook out, and then just slip in your offer. Offer your opportunity as a solution to their problem. This is similar to what I always do once I talk to a network marketer for XYZ company. First I ask, followed by explore, then show interest. Then tell them, Hey Hank, two months back a guy connected with me via Facebook. He's from a similar company as yours. He has some vitamin deals, and in 60 days I actually helped this guy to recruit 15 reps for his business. And guess what? This month, he is one of the top honors of his company. What happens once you do this? Number one, the person felt connected to you. Number two, when you provide a solution to his problem, he will obviously be open to the opportunity. And then, the final portion will appear, which is the you. This means yourself. Once you offer an opportunity to a person, it always leads your business through you. In our industry, we use the Facebook chat recipe method. This is a free method to generate leads and sales. Everybody wants to join a person. Nobody wants to join a company first, or a product, or a comp plan. People join people. If you are in a particular niche of affiliate sales, network marketing, or some kind of MLM business, you're promoting something. Now, you lead your business through you. So, how are you going to help a person? By delivering the product to that particular person as a person or leader. So I believe that that just makes sense to you. Which brings us to one of the ninja passes which I'm going to show you live. It's called the edge ranking mechanism. To show that, let me go directly to my Facebook account so I can do it live. Now, I'm inside my Facebook page. This is a very, very secret technique that we use. And once you master this simple trick, you can recruit 10 to 15 people per month for your business. Let's get started. First, let's choose a random friend of mine just for this demonstration. So, I'll choose this particular person. Let's go inside his Facebook by just clicking his name or picture, just like that. When you are there, simply go here where it says Friends. As you can see, there are already options showing even without clicking it yet. So, let's click on Close Friends. Once I do that, you can see that the check symbol has been converted into a star. What will happen with this ninja trick? This is super awesome, guys. Facebook will now recognize both of us as close friends. So what? All the updates or posts that I put on Facebook will appear on the top position of that person's news feed all the time. So whenever he logs into Facebook, he can always see my posts first in his news feed. And it happens because we made him as my close friend. This particular thing is so much powerful because we are not approaching that person directly. We're not saying to the guy, hey, come over here, check out my link, or the like. In this scenario, we have used attraction marketing in a sophisticated manner. On the other hand, I can also see his post at the top of my newsfeed. So imagine if you do this to 100 people. Your updates are going to be seen at the top of those hundreds of people's newsfeeds. It's like having hundreds of tons of traders in your email list. So what's going to happen if you put real value-oriented updates in your Facebook? They will see it once or twice, and there's going to be a chance that they are going to check it out. Instead of you approaching the person directly through the use of Facebook, you can just do this simple ninja trick, and you can already give value or interest through your posts. And guess what? 
you can easily start connecting with the person and start recruiting. This is the special trick which I've used to recruit hundreds of people through Facebook, and this is complete ninja. And I believe you will really love this stuff when you start applying it. I have tons of fun making this video, and I hope you enjoy it too, and I'll see you in the next video.